Hi, this is Jeff from Hybrid Automotive. This video is going to cover how to set up your Prolong Pro Thunderbolt battery repair system, make the necessary connections, and prepare it for its first use. Before we begin, I'd just like to take a moment to say thank you for your purchase and welcome you to the Prolong Pro family. If you're a new customer and you ordered the complete package, you will receive the Prolong Pro battery charger and the Prolong Pro battery discharger. If you're an existing customer that already has these two devices and you purchase the upgrade package, instead you'll receive the Prolong Pro charger upgrade board and the Prolong Pro discharger upgrade board. These are required in order for the charger and discharger to be compatible with the Thunderbolt system and are pre-installed on the complete package. In addition, all packages will receive the Thunderbolt system itself, a 10-inch Android tablet, which is where the Prolong Pro app will be installed, that goes here, and the battery cooling table. There's also five harnesses included. The first two are your individual module voltage monitoring harnesses. Next is the QR scanner which allows you to quickly scan those Toyota module QR codes into the app, as well as the battery temperature monitoring harness and the high voltage interconnect harness. Next we'll begin by connecting the different harnesses to tie the systems together. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get the USB power cord for, included with the Android tablet. The Thunderbolt system has two USB sockets on the side, one to provide power to the tablet itself and a second one to charge your cell phone while you're using the system. Next we're going to install the high voltage interconnect cable. This is going to go on the back of the Thunderbolt system and connect to the Prolong Pro charger and discharger. One thing to note on this system, it's a prototype. On your system, there will be color-coded labeling on all of the harnesses and on the back of the Thunderbolt system to aid in making the wiring connections. Next will be the QR scanner. We're going to connect this to the serial port on the back of the Thunderbolt system and to its own AC power source. To connect the Pro Prolong Pro Thunderbolt system to the hybrid battery will require a Prolong car harness. These are vehicle specific and can be ordered separately and are required in order to do the charging and discharging of the hybrid battery pack. They connect to the Thunderbolt system like this. In addition, we'll want to connect the battery temperature monitoring harness to the Thunderbolt system. At the other end of the harness is two small temperature probes which are designed intentionally to be small enough to be slid down between the modules of the battery pack and enable for temperature monitoring at the side of the cells themselves for the highest level of accuracy. Lastly is the individual module voltage monitoring harness. There are two harnesses. The first, harness A, has 28 voltage monitoring taps, which is perfect for Toyota Prius sized hybrid battery. The second harness has the remaining 12 to allow you to monitor batteries with a total of up to 40 individual modules. Next, we'll set up the Android tablet. The first step in this process is connecting the tablet to your Wi-Fi network. Once that's done, you'll navigate to the Google Play Store, find the Prolong Pro app, download it, then install it and accept the user license agreement. The first time you open the app, you'll be prompted for a couple specific app permissions. One of these, allow 
Prolong Pro to access device location is very important and must be enabled. When you're prompted, usually the first time you open the settings menu, for that permission, allow Prolong Pro to access device location, be sure to click allow. Then you can enter your one year software license activation key. This is emailed to you at the time of your purchase and is a single use token that can only activate one tablet one time. In addition, we need to make one setting change on the tablet to force it to stay on while being used in conjunction with the Prolong Pro Thunderbolt system. So we're going to need to navigate to the settings menu, scroll down to the bottom and press on system, then select about tablet. And on this about tablet menu, you'll see something called build number. We're gonna tap on this seven times in order to access the developer options for the tablet. Enter your security code and open the developer options. This is done by going back one screen and selecting the developer options. Now in general, we really don't want to mess around in here too much, but there is one thing we need to do. It's called stay awake. So we're going to turn that on and that will enable the screen to stay awake and the tablet to never sleep while plugged in and charging. This is important because we need to have constant communication between the Thunderbolt system and the tablet and the Prolong Pro app. And this is one of the reasons why we have the USB charging connection on the side of the system so that you can have your tablet plugged in and being powered by the Thunderbolt system while it's in use. The last major step in preparing your Prolong Pro Thunderbolt system for use is to configure the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connections. The tablet and the Prolong Pro app communicate with the Thunderbolt system via a Bluetooth link. In addition, the Thunderbolt system itself also communicates with the charger and the discharger, depending on the process being performed, with a second Bluetooth link. And finally, all four devices, the tablet, the Thunderbolt system, the charger and the discharger all have independent Wi-Fi connections to allow the remote software and firmware updates to be downloaded and automatically installed in the devices. By default, the Prolong Pro charger and discharger should arrive in standalone operation mode. This, they, this means that they can be used by themselves separately from the Thunderbolt system. In order to switch them to Thunderbolt compatible mode, we need to press and hold the enter button on each system for approximately five seconds. Once we've confirmed that the charger and discharger are in Thunderbolt mode, we can begin the Wi-Fi setup. To do this, we need to have only one device powered on at a time. So we'll start by turning off the Thunderbolt system and the discharger so that only the charger now is on. We can navigate to the settings menu in the app and we can begin the process by pressing the scan Bluetooth button. What this does is tells the tablet to go out and scan for Bluetooth devices so that we can pair the tablet with them and then connect and perform the Wi-Fi configuration on them. What we're looking for for the charger is a device that starts with CB underscore. That's the charger system. So we want to wait for the scan to finish and then we can press on that CB underscore and it will prompt you for the pin. On all of the Prolong Pro products, the pin is one, two, three, four. Then we'll press OK. And now the tablet is paired with the charger so that we can connect over that pairing to perform the Wi-Fi setup. To do that, we'll press the Get Bluetooth List button 
and we can see that the charger now is showing on our paired Bluetooth items. We select it, then press the connect button. There is a pop-up advising us that, hey, if we're gonna connect the Prolong Pro app directly to the charger or the discharger, the Thunderbolt system needs to be powered off. This will only be needed during the setup process. And so we just wanna make sure that the Thunderbolt system is off to avoid any conflicts. So once we verify that it is in fact powered off, we can click OK to connect. Now the app has connected via Bluetooth to the Prolong Pro charger. The next step is to press the charger Wi-Fi configuration button. Enter our wireless network name, noting that it is case sensitive, and our wireless network password. Then press save. We want to wait until we see that the desired wireless network, that it's connected. Then we're going to press the tablet's back soft key. The app will load. This is where the charger is actually making the connection to the wireless network, so this can take a few moments. Once it's done, it will tell us connected to and the wireless network name. So then we can press OK. And lastly, press disconnect to disconnect the Bluetooth link between the tablet and the charger. Very nice, the charger's done. Let's do the discharger next. We'll power off the charger system and power on the discharger. We'll again press the scan Bluetooth button. This time we're looking for something that starts with DB underscore. That is the Prolong Pro discharger. So we have to wait for the scan to finish to make our selection. Once it shows scan finished, we'll press on the discharger, enter the pin, again, one, two, three, four, then press okay. Now we can select the app Bluetooth connection, Bluetooth list menu, and we can see now that the discharger is an available option. Let's select that by clicking on the discharger, then pressing connect. We get the same notification regarding the Thunderbolt system powered off, so we can click OK to proceed. And now we're connected via Bluetooth from Prolong Pro app to the discharger system, so we can proceed with the discharger Wi-Fi configuration. We'll do that by pressing on that button, entering our wireless network name, our wireless network password, then press save. Again, we're waiting until we see the word connected under our desired wireless network. Once we see that, we'll press the tablet's back soft key, allow the discharger to connect to that Wi-Fi network. And once that's done, it will give us the confirmation message saying connected to your wireless network. We can press OK and then press disconnect to disconnect the Bluetooth from the tablet and the Prolong Pro app to the discharger. Now we're ready to do the Thunderbolt system. So we'll power off the discharger and power on the Thunderbolt system. Again, we'll press the scan Bluetooth button. The Thunderbolt system Bluetooth ID will start with TB underscore. So that's what we're looking for in the Bluetooth list. We'll wait for the scan to complete. Then we'll press on the TB underscore to select it. Enter the pin, one, two, three, four and press OK. Now we can select on the Bluetooth list menu and select the TB underscore, then press connect. We are now connected to the Thunderbolt system. One thing to note on this specific 
system, we've already performed some of the following steps. And that's why we can see the Bluetooth connection, the Thunderbolt to charger and Thunderbolt to discharger. On your system, you won't have those yet. I'm gonna show you how to set them up, but you will not see those when you make your first connection between the Prolong Pro app and the Thunderbolt system. First, we'll set up the Wi-Fi within the Thunderbolt system. To do that, we'll select the Thunderbolt Wi-Fi configuration button, and again, enter our wireless network name and password, and press save. Wait for that connected message underneath your desired wireless network, and then press the tablet's back soft key one more time. At this time, the Thunderbolt system is connecting to that wireless network. Once that's done, we'll get a confirmation message and we click OK. We're now ready to connect the Bluetooth between the Thunderbolt system and the charger and the discharger. And to do that, we're gonna leave the Thunderbolt system powered on and we're gonna go ahead and power on both the charger and the discharger. Once they're powered on, we can go ahead and select the next button in the menu, which is the Thunderbolt to charger Bluetooth connection. This will cause the Thunderbolt systems Bluetooth to go out and search for a Prolong Pro charger that it can pair with. So we're not pairing the app to the charger or discharger at this time. The app is telling the Thunderbolt system to go out and pair in this case with the charger, and next we'll do the discharger. So that the Thunderbolt system has found our charger, so we can go ahead and select on that, and then it'll ask us to confirm our selection. We can press yes. Give it a minute to make the pairing between the Thunderbolt system and the charger, and then it will tell us Bluetooth device connected successfully, and we can click OK. And finally, we'll do the Bluetooth pairing between the Thunderbolt system and the discharger by pressing the Thunderbolt to discharger Bluetooth configuration button. By pressing that, the app is telling the Thunderbolt system to go out and look for Prolong Pro dischargers that are available for pairing. And there is our discharger. So we can select it, Confirm our selection by pressing yes. And now give it a moment for the Thunderbolt system to pair with the discharger device. And once that's done, we will get the message saying that the Bluetooth device connected successfully. So we can click OK. That completes the process of setting up the Wi-Fi within all systems and Bluetooth links between them. Now that you've connected all three systems to your Wi-Fi network, it's a good idea to leave them on for about five to 10 minutes so that they can automatically download and install the newest firmware we have available. We will typically be releasing updates over the weekend, so it's a good idea to do this each week uh, prior to using them so that you'll always be on the latest version. Another important thing to note is that within the Prolong Pro app, for your app Bluetooth connection, you want to have that connected to the Thunderbolt system. This is the default mode and what it's going to, where it's going to need to be connected while the system is in use. The only time that you're going to need to connect the app directly to the charger and discharger is when you're doing that initial Wi-Fi configuration. After that, you're always going to connect the app to your Thunderbolt system, and the Thunderbolt system will automatically connect Bluetooth to the charger and discharger as needed. You do not need to do anything for that. So now everything's set up and ready to use. We'll make another video showing a high level overview of the battery repair process. So please give that a watch as well. Thank you very much.